Well, you're in luck. That's today's goal is to get that thing upstairs in our almost 12 year old room and set up so that the bunnies can come home tomorrow. But first we have some cleaning and reorganizing to do in the room. So let's get to it. Okay, we still have some clutter we need to deal with and we're still straightening up the desk right there, but the area where the buddy house is gonna go is ready, so let's get to building. And before we get any grumbles about, she should be the one to clean or do the things or help you out, it's okay. She helped me last night do the majority of the cleaning. And she is getting ready to head off to martial arts class with her brother and sister, and so she's not gonna be home for the next couple of hours. It's not her fault that mom got a late start to the day. So I'm happy to put the bunny house together for her and have it all set up so that she's ready for her bunnies to come home tomorrow. Which by the way, I've been getting a lot of uh, unnecessary comments about that too. You shouldn't get your kids a bunny as a pet. They're gonna get bored of it and just toss it out. Or people questioning whether or not she's actually ready for the responsibility of even having a bunny and all the work that goes into it. I swear you guys act like me as the parent who has literally known this child since conception does not know her and what she's capable of. One, in our house, Pets are family from the moment we receive them to the moment that they are no longer on this earth. So it's not even a question of if you get bored, we're gonna give it away. That's not a possibility in our family. And when it comes to responsibility level, I know my kids far better than anybody on the internet knows my kids. And both of my girls specifically have been the primary caregiver solely responsible for taking care of the pets that we currently do own for years now since they were little. They handle all the litter box scooping, all the litter box changing, all the feeding, all the watering, all of the things. I would not be getting my child a bunny as a pet for her birthday if I did not have every bit of confidence in knowing her maturity and responsibility level here. We know our kids, we know what we're getting into, we know that we can handle this, and at the end of the day, pets are family until they are no longer our Earth side anymore. So we'll make it work. Don't worry about what we've got going on. Just sit back and enjoy the content. Let's put a bunny house together. Excuse me, sir. This is not a box for you. This yes. is not your house. So see the bunny picture right here? That's picture? for a bunny, not for a kitty cat, Jake. You scoot out of the way now so I can build this bunny house. Well, it was not the original plan, and yes, I undid all of my work over here and put this shelf back, but the bunny house is set up, just need to put all the bedding and things like that in it, and it's ready for the bunnies to show up tomorrow. We had to put it over here because this bottom portion right here slides out for her to be able to clean the area, change the bedding and things like that, and there was not enough space to do it over here while also, while also allowing for this door on the side to be able to open so that the bunnies could come out of their little sleeping spots and hang out and wander around in her room. So over there works for now. We probably will reorganize things and this is just the starter bunny house. They're only three months old so they'll both fit in there, but we do have plans to get a larger one so that when they are both adult size, there is room for both of them to hang out together. We're going to be getting a baby gate for her bedroom door so that the bunnies do have free reign of this room specifically. And then as they get older and they get trained to the litter box and where their home is and where they do their business and where they don't, where they can go and where they can't, then we will allow them more access in other places of the house. And yes, I know we have dogs and we have cats and bunnies don't mix, but they do. You just take your time to get everything integrated together and we do that with responsible human supervision. But for now, we're ready for the bunnies to come home tomorrow and make a soon to be 12 year old, a very happy little girl. And don't worry, we'll bring you along for that journey as well.